Hello and welcome back. I am Big Squirrel and this is Chained Echoes and I have been waiting for this game to come out. Uh, it's It's been a while since I've done like a series on a completed game and I'm very glad that this is the game that brought me back. I've played through the first half hour-ish, which I think is what this episode is going to be. I love the art. I love the music. This is... Oh, this is an amazing game. Wake up! It's time to get up, Glenn! Look how lovely the sun is shining. It, it's still so early. Oh, come on, get dressed quickly. Your friends may come any minute. And that's how the buttons work. We can walk around. Leave your house. The coast is already in sight, so stop sleeping. Uh, huh? Uh, I'm already... It's gonna get wild soon, so get your ass up. M Mom? I said, wake the hell up! <laughs> I love that. That is a great way to start the game. I have such a variety of airships. Do you believe this? We're on a suicide mission and he's taking a nap. N no actually, I haven't slept for days because of this mission. I just... I don't care, boy. Get up and move your sorry ass to the captain up on the bridge. Okay. Right away, one of the things I like is uh, if you can collect it, it glows. At least as far as I know, here in the beginning. And we can uh, we can make our our quest stuff. That's what it's called. Pop out of there when we want. Get some monies, I assume. I have to stay on the stern rate today because I'm sick. I wanted to join the battle, but Killian talked me out of it. Oh, well, you can battle another day. This mission is total suicide. We're supposed to break through the enemy lines as a vanguard. I'm scared, Glenn. What if I'm outnumbered on the battlefield? Would I be a coward to run away? Um, I know this is one of the things that's interesting, and I, I don't know, this might be a little bit spoilery. There are decisions you can make in the game that will affect things later. And uh, this is how I learned about that. I'm going to go with, I would run away, to be honest. Y you would? I hope I never get into that situation. Yeah, same. You look pale, Glenn. A boy with your talent shouldn't always look so worried. But you're pushing me around. If I die, my family in Valeria will get the money. They're waiting for it eagerly. For the money, of course, not for my death. I did not realize I could, like, walk away while talking to people. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. Hey, Glenn, I heard your task is to break through the enemy lines with your sky armor. Uh, I guess so. I wish I had something I was good at. I'm sure you do. If you don't have something, then maybe you just haven't discovered it yet. Hopefully we'll survive this mission, so I still have time to do that. <laughs> the Kingdom of Tarin conquered the city of Warnshire a few days ago. Now Warnshire has asked us to take back the town. I think that's how the story goes. Cool. Nice little way to put in the backstory. We will talk to these people momentarily. Angel Wing. We are, of course, picking up items that we'll be able to use later. Some healing and some revival stuff. Fairly standard early game things. Our chief technician is a slave driver. Nobody likes him, but he gets along with you. I wonder why. Um, because of reasons? Damn it, I told Marlock that we shouldn't fly at full speed for such long distances. W what's going on? The ether oven is about to explode, that's what's going on. Something's wrong with this thing, but I can't figure it out. If only someone with a knack for this kind of stuff could help me out. Do, do you want me to take a look? Ah, here's your problem. Uh, you got a clamp? Yeah, here you go. Thanks. I just need to turn it up a little bit here. A little there, and a little more here. Done! Whoa, the oven has calmed down. Thankfully, you're even better at flying sky armors than you are at handling repairs. Otherwise, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> here, take this as a thank you. It will help you on the battlefield. Sweets. And those get us TP back, which is what fuels our moves. And now we can actually go back up towards the bridge. Always have to explore and get all of the extras first. If it isn't Glenn, excited, aren't you? Well, maybe a little. Relax, you just keep the sky above our heads clear and we'll take care of the enemy on the ground. We're a team. Together, no one stands a chance against the band of the Iron Bull. <laughs> You're right. 
Luck has been with us for years, as long as I have this lucky charm here. Oops. You, you dropped it. It's broken. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it isn't a bad omen or anything like that. <laughs> Just because our name was dragged through the mud by those miserable baboons of Amand, we now have to go on this suicide mission. If we survive this, we'll get back at them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I am okay with that. Polish, polish, polish. You can't speak to anyone in here. Look at these babies, Glenn. Aren't they great? Uh, is that... Dynamite. I've been saving it for a mission like this. Aren't they dangerous? It's dangerous only for the enemy. I know this stuff. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Let's go with... <laughs> You're probably right. I'm no expert. Sure, don't worry. It'll come in handy. All right. Oh, we can talk to you. The sky armors are in perfect condition. Make sure they stay that way, Glenn. Okay, I'll do my best. Anything else? Nope, there we go. All men in battle positions. This vanguard will not sink into the ocean. <laughs> ah, Glenn, our ace pilot at last. Uh, I'm sorry. Too late for apologies. We're reaching the coast soon. Glenn, Killian, you take the sky armors and go ahead. We'll follow you. Yes, sir. Our goal is the Opus Stone. It feeds the ether cannons with energy. We smash that thing and clear the way for the rear guard. Understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> our client doesn't think we'll survive this. Lured by the promise to pour gold around our families after our deaths, we took the job anyway. But we will show them that we can survive. We will not let our family spend our pay all alone, right? To the band of the Iron Bull! To the band of the Iron Bull! What? So soon? Their cannons shouldn't reach us yet. Cursed Tyrrhenians and their darn technology. Let's go! Are you ready, partner? I think so. Yay! Say, Killian... Do you believe we can succeed? What are you talking about? Of course we can. Are you getting nervous? No, I mean, maybe a little. Don't worry. We'll go in, smash the Opus Stone, and get out. The rear guard will handle the rest. We yeah, sounds easy. Normally we'd have to work three years for so much money. What will you do with all of it? Uh, I'm not sure. I have a wish, but the money probably won't be enough. Come on, tell me. I always wanted to have my own sky armor. That's nice. What would you do with it? Surely it's not simply for taking walks on a nice day, right? I don't know. I'd probably do the same as before. Sky armors exist for battle, after all. I could tune it up and work on it on my own, though. Hmm. You could be anywhere in the world, and yet you chose the battlefield. There's nothing else in my life. Since you rescued me back then, this mercenary band is all I have. You, however, have a family and a home. What would you do with all the money? You know that I'm not here for the money. I choose the battlefield as well. There's still a long way ahead until I reach my dream. Haha, <laughs> looks like we'll have to put up with each other a little longer. If we survive this. What can go wrong with our ace pilot, right? Alright, you two, enough romantic talk. You're ready to go. Godspeed, Glenn. Watch out, Glenn. The enemy is sending their own sky armors our way. How about a demonstration of your skills, Glenn? I bet you can take them down on your own. What? Yes, battles are turn-based, and there is a lot to them. We have HP, we have TP that fuels our skills, and uh, the skills have different typings, which will be relevant later on. Defeat enemies in battle grants you access to different spoils. Yeah, we'll get loot and whatnot. Um, materials for upgrading weapons, skill points. We will get to skills by the end of this video, I promise. Uh, and we may not get loot when it appears to drop, so all good. And we can do things. Also, HP and TP both reset at the end of battle. And yes, it is a little bit laggy here in the beginning. But whatevs. Uh, yeah, HP and TP reset at the end of battle. You, you go back to full once it's over. So there's really no reason not to spam your skills unless you're running really low. Huh, there's no challenge for our ace pilot. We shouldn't fool around, Killian. 
Well then get ready, here comes a new challenger! And yeah, this is uh, fairly standard early game stuff, except that we get to use skills instead of like use one spell and then have to use attack for the next 10 minutes, which I really, really appreciate. Also, that poison does so much damage. It's doing like as much as a, as a normal attack would every round, but I'm not using normal attacks, so you can't really see that. That's it, Glynn. Now on to the Opus Stone. Whoa! Look out for their cannons! Damn it! Killian! Are you alright? Of course not. The Sky Armors were our best chance to reach the Opus Stone. As long as we still have legs to walk and arms to wield a sword, we will not give up. It's about time that you get to know the battlefield outside of your Sky Armor. You've had enough training. But here on land you follow me, understood? Y yes We will fight our way to the Opus Stone on foot. Once the stone is shattered, we can wait for the rear guard. Yes. You you'll lead the way, but uh I'll I'll be the one in the front. Ignore the battlefield, Glenn. Yes, I will absolutely ignore things, except for shiny, shiny things, because I like shiny, shiny things. Also, I really like that. I like that battle just starts. We don't have uh, random battles. We don't swap scenes or anything, although swapping scenes can be cool. I'm not going to knock that. Those are all things that can be good, of course. I like to change a pace on this. Uh, do do and we will just continue to hit them with things. There's no reason to heal up before the battle's over or anything. It makes things very smooth. This is very different than a lot of the games I've been playing recently. And I, ooh, I super appreciate when uh, things are different. The focus seems to be more on each battle rather than running through an entire area. And I dig that. We're not gonna get slowly worn down over time. Alright, let's... you have a big shield. Let's go with some kind of armor breaky thing. And this does 1.1 damage, which is still more than a normal attack. There's no reason not to use it. Oh, and it crit. Nice. Defense buff does that... See, down in the left, we can actually see all of the things. It gets a defense buff... buff the Defense break and buff at the same time. I imagine they cancel each other out. And I like that that information is just available. We don't have to necessarily guess. Let's see, let's see. Nice. Very quick pace. And of course, everything is really cool looking. I love the music. More shinies. I like the shiny things. Let's see, there's the door. It's the Sternerit. She was hit. N no way. Focus on your task. About the others escaped in time. Wait, what about the dynamite guy? I don't know what happened to the dynamite guy. Maybe we just haven't gotten to him yet. Yeah, I chose the things that I didn't choose the first time around. So I don't know what we're going to get with these conversation things that we we did in the uh, in the ship. Yeah, I'll just use White Spring again. <laughs> and it does look like we get TP back at the end of rounds. So it's not like we start with 100 and we, we have that. Unless we use items to get it back. We do get more. There's something over here? Yes. More snakes. In case we need healing. Okay. Oh, hello. Glenn, Killian, you're both alive. You seem fine as well. Yeah, after I was hurled from the stern, I found myself in between the enemy lines. I followed your advice and fled from the enemy. Thanks to that, I'm alive. Once I've regained my composure, I will join you again. Here, take this with you. Oh, wow. Angel, wing, snacks. Well, you gave us all kinds of stuff. 
When I told him before, <laughs> when I was just looking at this game real quick, uh, I told him to fight until the last, and he just kind of died at us right there. So, yeah, that's definitely different. Very cool. Watch out, Glenn. That was close. More of them. Get ready. There are too many. Need a hand? <laughs> Commander! Let's show them the power of the Iron Bull's mightiest team-up. Alright, we get the overdrive bar, which this is really cool. Uh, basically, everything you do is going to raise the overdrive bar. Uh, when it gets into green, we're going to get a lot of bonuses, and it's really cool. If it gets into red, we're going to take more damage. Uh, then there will be moves that will allow you... Like, they'll be colored yellow in the menu, which is very nice. I like that touch. Um, it just... I would I would get confused otherwise. That we can lower the, the overdrive bar so it doesn't go into that red overheat area. So this is... We're going to be using moves to try to balance into the green and stay there. We can also, like, defend. And later in the game, apparently we'll be able to switch out characters and that can bring the bar back down as well. So, yeah. Skills are going to cost half TP while we're in the green thing. We'll do more damage and take less damage. I think that's all the things. Let's see. I don't think we need motivating words. Marlock. I like that name. Let's hit the big dudes in the back. The heavy armor people. We have... Yeah, we have some options to hit everyone at once. I'm just going to try to kill the front guys with the, the multi-target damage and focus the dudes in the back. That gets us into overdrive mode. I really like this overdrive thing. It's it, it adds some tactical stuff to the game without being overly complicated. Like, it's, it's not going to confuse to stay in here. Like, I would like to stay in the green, so let's go ahead and give ourselves a defense and mind boost. Not that we need them right now. <laughs> We're just going to have them ready. I am so sorry, Hein. I've kind of just left you to get hit a lot. You're actually so low, you might... Let's not do that. We'll heal him. That seems like a good idea. Cross slash or armor break. I am not going to worry about armor break. We might be able to just wipe this dude out. Yeah. Let's see, you don't have anything that can bring the gauge back down, but I want to get that multi-target one way or another. You also don't have anything that can bring it back down. Those guys are going to die, like, the next time that either, uh, either of our people that hit multiple people, I, I'm still... Oh no, I actually got into it. Um, let's have you just defend. That'll get us back down. All good. Let's see, you kind of also have to... Not a good idea. I'll just heal up and wait. Next one, you can do the motivating words. I probably don't have to do all this. I think at this point in the game, I probably could just go into overheat and still win. But yeah, like let's let's just do the things that will keep us from doing that. Let's just say I was showing off the system. Because I, I really like it. That's that's so cool. So, you live. Barely. Fools, the Sky Armors were our biggest hope to end all of this quickly. We... we didn't stand a chance. They call you an ace pilot, and yet you can't even... Shut up, both of you. Save your strength. The stone is near. We will fight the remaining foes on foot. Forward... Sky Armor again? This is bad. No choice but to fight it now. Don't worry, Commander. Guys. We will deal with it. You go and destroy the stone. Stay alive, you hear me? Of course. So, the enemy has reached the stone. I'm sorry, my lord, but the casualties were 
Spare me the details. Everything is going according to plan. Time for the final act. I don't like you. Killian doesn't like you either. The Opus Stone. Once it is destroyed, the ether cannons are out of fuel. Your assault ends here, fiends. It's that sky armor again. That means the others are... I remember that sky armor now. It's Wywian, a famous doppelsoldner. And I know you as well, Band of the Iron Bull. What madness has befallen you to take such a mission? What did Gravos lure you with? With gold they do not possess? Do you even realize what you're dealing with? We need to get past him. Then we smash the stone. Not if I smash your skulls first, fools. We will do things. Inflict poison? I like the sound of poisoning. It's a good long-term do damage thing. Uh, fire burst. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for damage first. If it looks like we're in trouble, we can start doing other things. This, though, armor break, that'll help us do more damage. Wide swing is still slightly better. I'm going to go for a heal, though. Hein was down at full health. Or, er, full health. Hein was down at half health. We'll get him back to full. And I am keeping an eye out. Right now, it's not useful to do poison smash. Uh, it's Our enemy's already poisoned. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, up there in the top left, it's showing what move type we would need to do in order to uh, lower the overdrive gauge. We are... There we go. It switched over to something that I, was very useful. Also, water prison? Sure. Are you still poisoned? Yeah, another couple rounds of poison. That's so nice to know. Um... Armor break should still... Oh, it's not running anymore. I'll do that. Interruption? Oh, someone's interrupting us. Hey, scumbag, try this dynamite! Hey! What's up, dude? It, it's not detonating. Maybe we can give it a smack? Uh, are you serious? Um, let's do wide swing. Will that hit both? Aw... No, it will not. I'm going to use motivating words. I don't think we need the defenses or anything, but I want to bring the overdrive gauge down. And it doesn't hurt to have those things up. Use his ultimate attack. That wasn't super ultimate. But he is low health. How is your poison rate doing? Okay, we need to do some more poisons. Oh, slash armor break. Okay, we're going to get our healer up before our enemy can attack again. Yeah, Marlock will be safe. Fireburst? Yeah. Let's see, poison we just did. Your attacks don't seem to be... I don't know why, I feel like Hyde doesn't hit as hard. My cross slash is the best move that we have right now. Oh, cool. Yeah, Killian with the uh, helping hand. Keep us healthy and in the overdrive, sweet spot. I don't know how... How's your poison? It's still poison. Um, there we go. At first, I couldn't target the dynamite. Oh, that was good. I like that as the finishing move. We did it! Now for the Opus Stone. N no! Commander! Killian! The Opus Stone, what have they told you? Glenn, smash it! Stop, boy. That's no Opus Stone. It's not fueling anything! Don't listen to him. Go! Fools! The Grimoire! Huh? What is this light?
chained echoes. Yeah, I didn't say a lot because I was just enjoying the music and stuff. Volandis, a continent with a proud history of over 3,000 years. Once it was home to the magical city of Nyssa, the center of magical teachings. But since its downfall, Volandis has been consumed by war. For six generations, three kingdoms have been battling for domination. In the north, the kingdom of everlasting rain, Terran. The greatest harbor in all of Volandis, Farnsport, and its kingdom, Escania, to the south. Finally, in the east, the proud nation of Gravos. Who hops? I love that. In 806 of the Seventh Era, Terran conquered Gravos. A few days later, during an attempt to reconquer lost territory, the greatest accident of the war occurred. A powerful explosion engulfed the eastern part of the continent. Tens of thousands of people died. The weapon that could cause such destruction remained unknown. Since none of the three kingdoms admitted to possess such a weapon, fear finally drove the rulers to sign a peace treaty. This ended the war after 156 years. In 807, one year after the signing of the treaty, a celebration was held in Farnsport to mark the anniversary. There he is, Rob. I was not mistaken. Look for yourself. Sitting right there in the tree close to Lady Parnella's root. I do see him, but maybe he just wants to get a good look at the parade. He wouldn't need a sword for that. Also, they are forbidden during the festivities. Are you sure that's a sword? I can hardly recognize it. Rob, as exemplary members of the City Watch, it is our most urgent task to pursue this. But we're supposed to guard the castle today, Princess. Her true identity is Princess Celestia Valkyria of Terran, sister to Prince Frederick. Shortly before the end of the war, she fled the castle to see more of the world, as well as her people's struggles, worries, and hopes, in order to become a better princess to them. After a chain of events, she ended up as a guard of the city watch for Terran's enemy's kingdom. Rob, don't call me that! Ah, uh, forgive me, you're... Rob! Sorry, Lynn. Heir to the house of Riermeyer, Rob grew up as a ward in the castle of Tormund together with Lynn. Once he learned that she planned to flee the castle, he insisted on tagging along. Her well-being is his highest priority. It is a miracle that we have not yet been discovered. If anyone here finds out who I am... Anyway, let us make haste towards the west gate anon. Um, I mean, let's... Um... Hurry. Let's hurry to the west gate. Yes, and then we can do character progression-y things. We can learn skills. Uh... When you defeat bosses and stuff, you get a Grimoire Shard, which is kind of like leveling up. Yeah, and we can learn new skills and stuff with Grimoire Shards, and everybody gets to use it. It's not limited to one person per shard. Let's see, there's action skills that we can use, passive skills, and stat boosts that we can do with these shards. We'll get into all this in a second. Uh, while stat boots are automatically added to your character's attributes and are permanently active, action and passive skills need to be equipped. Yes, we will be doing that in a little bit. Uh, you can also you can use skill points in the set skills menu to level up your action and passive skills. Yeah, we'll be getting SPs and we can just make our stuff stronger that we already know. And everybody gets their own skill points. So we are going to look at skill stuff. Um, let's go ahead and learn something. So Lynn seems to be... <laughs> she does magical attacks and I, I love magic. Passive skills, I'm not sure on these how much I want right away and the stat boosts I I do love me some basic stat boosts things like magic is going to make our magic hit harder attack makes our attacks hit harder uh, tech points I don't really feel we'll need too much extra TP right now I have no idea I don't know anything about the character I'm gonna go with learning another type of magic so we can be more likely to hit a weakness also, yeah, a bunch of stats went up when we did that. Very cool. I'm not sure what uh, is it like because I picked a particular thing or just because I spent a point did I get that kind of thing. Uh, Rob can inflict some poison, can do some physical damage. Inflicts two and a half physical damage to an enemy who attacks the target. That is cool. 
That is really cool, but it's a passive thing. Pandemic, it spreads the poison or toxic to all enemies for two turns. He can poison people, and then he can... Ooh, can't be resisted on the poison. Yeah, I do want to do this. Uh, this Between the two of them, this is like the only thing. Oh, yeah, he only got attack plus one. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's... I want to be able to hit multiple targets with something. And it looks like that's the only way to do it at the beginning. And now, do we have... They don't have any SP, so we can't really check that out. And it automatically set our skills for us. But what's really cool, you can swap your skills around to be wherever you want them to be. And I like that, because like with this, I want to have... I want to have my magics up here in alphabetical order just because my attack spells and the cleanse, a debuff, I want that after my other magics. And then other things later on, because she does have some skills that she'll be able to learn later that will hit multiple targets, I can put my water skills next to each other. Yeah, I don't have to either rely on the game doing it itself or not being able to organize, because I, I want them in particular orders. And this, I... Yeah, because I didn't save before. Looks like we can just save here. I don't know if it's because we're in a town or if it's we can save anywhere. I doubt that. I, I actually have no idea if we'd be able to save like on a battlefield or something. But yeah. Yeah, we, <laughs> we're going to save it here. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode, as you can already tell, because with the red bar on the bottom of the, the video is getting really close to the end. Uh I am, like I said, super excited about this game. I have been impatiently waiting uh, because I it looked so good in all of the stuff. I Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get in on, um, on things. I didn't have the money to back on Patreon and stuff like that to be able to look at some of the stuff earlier. But yeah, this is... It's going to be great playing this game, and I am very excited to be back doing a series from what I've seen from like the steam page and stuff this game is fairly long like 30 to 40 hours i think is the estimate and somebody said it's like 50 hours if you do all of the side stuff so we're gonna see how much of the side stuff i can actually do and all that but um yeah time for the rambling to stop that's gonna do it for this video thank you very much for watching i really hope you liked it the liking and subscribing and patreon link in the description all the usual stuff and i will see you in my next video. Later!